welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, so <clears throat> in the last video, uh, you would have seen me uh, using VLCM to update our uh, vSAN hosts on ESXi 7.03 hosts from O to Q. Um, previous to that, uh, you would see me feckling around with removing a faulty disk group from vSAN. Um, now, there was one other thing that I wanted to cover uh, very, very quickly um, that we have discovered on occasion, uh, which absolutely causes no end of grief um, in vSAN. And again, this caused us no end of grief. Um, we had a lighting circuit issue problem. Um, so we had to get Sparky out, basically, which meant turning off the power. I didn't actually know how long he was actually going to have the power off for, so therefore decided to shut down. Uh, although we have got some very large UPSs, I thought, well, okay, let's just shut down everything, turn the UPS off, power it all back up again, and I completely forgot. We have a host, and I've seen this uh, at other sites as well, and I don't know why, but we have one host here that when it comes up, it refuses uh, to play ball with vSAN. Now, the result of that is that what you actually basically start to see is you start to see virtual machines that are powered on and they're operating correctly. And all of a sudden, they will just fail the disks underneath will disappear. The virtual machine basically will show as inaccessible and it appears that that virtual machine basically has been lost. And what we've actually basically found is, is that there is a, a value um, that blocks all communication with this particular host. Um, and the actual value is called uh, DOM pools all CCPs. Now, if you actually basically look in this SSH setting here, the current value for this value is one. It should be zero. There's also another value as well um, called ignore cluster member list updates. And that value should also be zero. If you can actually see on this server, if I actually basically look at um, the DOM pause all CCPs, and I have no idea why this changes to one when we shut it down, and when we bring it back up, it's also as one. And whilst it's set to one, it causes no end of issues in vSAN. If I look at the other value, uh, which is value of ignore cluster member list updates, that is zero, so that's fine. So what I'm gonna try and do, and what I've actually seen again, um, is I'm gonna basically uh, use the uh, VSISH-E set, and I'm gonna set it to zero. But what I have seen uh, when I've set this to zero, uh, this host is actually in maintenance mode at the moment, so it's not basically, uh, it's not got any workloads on it. But when we have set this to zero, on occasion, I've actually basically seen it cause a restart of the host. Uh, now, that was on 7.03.0. Whether or not that the same fault occurs in Q, I've no idea. So we're gonna basically do, um, we're gonna set that to zero. If I got the right focus, uh, I'm just gonna check that now. So the current value is zero. And the current value is zero. So that little one tweak, um, hopefully um, will fix all our problems in our vSAN. And one of the checks that we noticed um, draws um, and highlights a particular server with a problem is when we actually use the VM creation test, and I've just actually run it here and it says pass, success, success, success. And if we actually basically click run again, um, what we've found is that if a host is not playing nicely in vSAN, uh, you generally find that it will pass the test, 
but one particular host will take a very long time to create and delete the virtual machine. Uh, but here we're reporting correctly and nicely. If we look at our resyncing objects, uh, they are resyncing now. Three minutes, 30 gig left to resync. And our virtual objects at the moment, uh, we've got a data move going on there, which is probably this last, yeah, this particular virtual machine. Um, there are obviously a few others as well that are being synced as well because we've been uh, messing messing with the cluster. Um, yeah, so we've got some data moves going on there as well at the moment. Okay, so that's, again, a quick one, uh, but just really a pointer to those two variables that you need to check. If you find that your vSAN has gone wonky, and as I said, I've no idea why um, particular hosts display uh, a zero or a one. Um, so I will put those uh, commands uh, in the description uh, for you to check. So thanks very much for watching and uh, come back for the next video uh, when we start having a look at um, uh, vSphere VDT. So once again, thank you very much and goodbye.